Derver calling him in. And that's it, they're off and racing. This is the Goffs Punchestown four-year-old geldings made in Division One. And they're all off to a, a level start. Up there, prominent and keen to take a good early position is Harley done aboard Captain Cook on the inside. Another one to the fore is the Fogarty runner Sky and Sand, who takes the fence in second place. Over in third is Tom Keating's rep in the contest, which is global submission in the hands of Chris O'Donovan. Further back then to the first of the two Sam Carling runners, which is Dublin City, who races fourth. After this one in fifth is its stable companion, Malignificent. And then back to about uh, sixth or seventh place, Luke Murphy's aboard a great excuse. So they've travelled through the first two or three furlongs of the contest and about to spin in for the first time to fences two, three and four of the 14. Latest in the hurling is Clare, 110, Limerick, seven points. Wexford, 1-6, Dublin, eight at the half-hour mark. Anyway, here at the Donner Rail races, we're seeking a winner of a four-year-old Geldings maiden, and out there in front is Captain Cook, white-faced product of the Harley Dunn Academy. He's about to take this next fence, the son of Jetaway, and he's in front from in second place is Sky and Sand in the two-tone blue colours for Barry Stone. Third place is Dublin City in Timmy Hyde silks, the lemon with the black sash. Fourth, deepest of all then is a great excuse, and a tightly packed field. Fifth on the inside is Global Submission in turn, followed by Mellon. Magnificent. After that one then, you've got uh, Champagne Eclipse, who in turn is followed down the inside by Ray Barron aboard Full Confession. Next up is Gatineau Park for the Monbegs, and the back marker is Jerry Mangan's newcomer on deadly ground. Left hand down now as they move adjacent to the parading area and enter the back straight. Here comes fence number five for Captain Cook, who's alongside Sky and Sand, and he out jumped Sky and Sand at that one, did Captain Cook. Up to third place on the outside now, there races a great excuse, who's just ahead of Global Submission, who's down the inner all the time for Chris O'Donovan. Still there in about fifth place is Dublin City in the hands of Derek O'Connor, who's just ahead of Magnificent. And then also towards midfield, you've got Full Confession, and then Gatineau Park still held up by Rob James as they bound out over the next fence. They're all jumping well. No mistakes through the first six fences of the 14 for these raw four-year-olds. So after about a mile and a quarter, Captain Cook drives along in front here by a couple of lengths. Sky and Sand is in second. Third place in the grey jacket is a great Excuse, who's just ahead of Global Submission. Then back in about fifth place, we have uh, Champagne Eclipse in the royal blue and red quarter colours for Tom and O'Mara's team. And that one in turn is just followed then by Gatineau Park and on Deadly Ground. Dublin City's just dropped back a few places now. It was about fifth a circuit ago. is nearly last at the moment in the hands of Derek O'Connor. So as they come past the halfway point, and Captain Cook moves along in front here by a couple of lengths from Sky in the Sand, who's ready to pounce in a good position there in second place. Still close up in third on the outside is a great excuse. So a dozen lengths top to tail as they come up past the winning post. Five fences to jump in a circuit to race in the order, passing the judge. Captain Cook by three parts of a length from Sky and Sand in second. Two lengths then back to find in third position is a great excuse. Fourth, about four lengths down is Global Submission. We have lost one there. Out was Maleficent. We've lost that one somewhere along the way at the previous fence. John O'Grady quickly on his feet, so Maleficent is out of the contest. Back to fifth place and improving is on deadly ground, the Kerry Raider. After that one, held together in midfield is Gatineau Park, currently sixth, and a couple of lengths after that one, two in seventh place is full confession, and struggling now at the back of the field and not looking likely are either Dublin City or the back marker at the moment which is Champagne Eclipse. The leaders now arriving at the fort from home and 
Over this fence goes Captain Cook, just in front, but now challenged and headed, in fact, by Sky and Sand. So away from the fence, Sky and Sand across the top for the final time, just in front from Captain Cook, who's now ridden. Global submission is going nicely enough. Now Rob James takes closer order aboard Gatineau Park, who's sweeping round the hard shoulder to put himself in the picture as Global Submission also gets right up at the head of the pace. So as Captain Cook drops out, we have a change in the order. Global Submission is squeezed through on the inside now with Sky and Sand and three deep on the outside as they come to the third last fence is Gatineau Park. These lead up then from on deadly ground in the red cap back in fourth place and then running on also is full confession. But as they come now down to the second last, Gatineau Park fighting this out at the moment with Global Submission. These two just going on and it's Global Submission for Tom Keating. Jared Gatineau Park for the Monbegs under pressure but responding in behind. Ray Barron is trying to get there aboard full confession and as they come to the final fence and it's Global Submission. He's seen off Gatineau Park but here comes both full confession and on deadly ground widest of all and late and last as they go to the finish and it's going to be full confession in the centre. Full confession Ray Barron in a photo with on deadly ground weakening close home to be beaten about a half a length into third was global submission and they were followed home in fourth about five lengths back by sky and sand and then Gatineau Park so a photo finish photo finish the two involved were the 44 full confession for Ray Barron and the 48 on deadly ground for own man The result of the first division of the second race. First number 44, second to number 48, third number 14. Number 50 was fourth. 44, 48, 14. Number 50 was fourth.
around again. And your distances were ahead, a half a length and seven lengths. Ahead, a half a length and seven lengths. Presentation. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two.